In just the first half of 2024, something wild happened. While most countries were still debating budgets, China was already finishing entire cities, highways, and power grids, some in record-breaking time. One tunnel that took America 10 years to approve? China built it in under six months. Even U.S. engineers are admitting the truth. Some of China's latest mega projects were supposed to be impossible at this speed. So how is this happening? And more importantly, why can't the U.S. catch up? This isn't just about concrete and steel. It's a quiet war over global dominance, influence, and the future of power. Because when China lays a railway, it's also laying a path to economic control. And America knows it. Get ready to see jaw-dropping Chinese mega-projects that left U.S. experts stunned. And the shocking truth hiding behind them. Some of these aren't just fast. They're changing the world while the rest of us are still watching. Sanan Bridge, rebuilt in just 43 hours. In May 2024, drivers in Beijing witnessed something unbelievable. An entire highway bridge, old, worn, and busy, was demolished, removed, rebuilt, and reopened in just 43 hours. Yes, you read that right. Not weeks, not months, just two days. Using laser-guided positioning and synchronized transporters, crews worked around the clock with near-perfect precision. The process looked more like robotic surgery than construction. Meanwhile, some U.S. engineers watching the footage were stunned. One said, this would take six months minimum in America just to plan. So what's really holding the U.S. back? Is it red tape, outdated methods, or something deeper? Because this wasn't just a bridge, it was a statement. China is showing the world that it's not just fast, it's fearlessly efficient. But if this blew your mind, hold on. Because next, we're heading to a city where an entire train station was rebuilt in just nine hours. Longyan Station, nine hours that shocked the world. In January 2024, in the heart of Fujian province, China pulled off a feat that left engineers speechless. An entire high-speed rail station, from tracks to platforms, was rebuilt in just nine hours. Over 1,500 workers, organized in tight shifts, moved like a human machine, guided by real-time digital logistics. They used prefabricated rail segments, delivered with exact precision, to rebuild what would normally take months. While the U.S. struggles with rail lines that have been stuck in planning for decades, China finishes them before lunch. It's not just impressive, it's emotional, because every commuter, every family, every city deserves progress that doesn't crawl at 1980 speed. So why is America still stuck in red tape while China surges ahead? What's fueling this urgency, discipline, and scale? But land isn't the only place where China is rewriting the rules. Next, we head over water to a project that defies both logic and gravity. The 55K Emmer Sea Beast. By the end of 2023, China had done the unthinkable, connecting Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau across 55 kilometers of open sea. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge isn't just long, it's a marvel. Built with 33 underwater tunnel sections and two man made islands, it's the first structure to combine cable stayed design with an immersed tube tunnel. Even before it opened, critics from the U.S. said rough seas would tear it apart. But it didn't just survive, it's now reshaping South China's travel. It cut hours off cross city commutes moved millions of people faster, and proved a point. America once built record-breaking bridges. Now it struggles to fix the ones it has. Can the U.S. even dream of projects like this anymore? Or has it fallen too far behind? But what comes next isn't just bigger. It's a silent flex of raw engineering muscle buried deep in a river. And it's 10 times the size and 100 times the power. Yai Hetton, 16,000 megawatts of raw force. Deep in the mountains of southwest China sits a beast 
by Hetton Hydropower Station. With 16,000 megawatts of capacity, it's one of the most powerful hydro plants on Earth. Each of its giant turbines is so strong, it could power an entire city on its own. It runs on the largest vertical hydro turbines ever built, a record of engineering that few thought possible. But with power comes conflict. Entire villages were relocated, rivers were reshaped, lands flooded. Critics say it's too much, too fast. Is this progress or a step too far? Still, for China, this is more than energy. It's a declaration. The future is being built now, not later. While other nations debate, China installs 16 turbines the size of skyscrapers, then flips the switch. But wait, what if I told you they didn't stop with dams? They once built a fully functioning hospital in just 10 days. Huoshinshan, the 10-day miracle. In early 2020, as COVID-19 swept across Wuhan, the world watched, but China moved. They built a 1,000-bed hospital from scratch in just 10 days. Huoshinshan Hospital wasn't a tent or temporary site. It had oxygen systems, ICUs, wired comms, and a fully trained staff. The secret? Modular prefab construction and a digital twin system that allowed every part to be designed, tested, and built before even touching the ground. While U.S. hospitals take three to five years just to get permits, China built a fully operating facility in under two weeks. But here's the twist. This wasn't a one-time miracle. China studied, refined, and by 2024, they could deploy full hospitals faster than some cities fix broken roads. This wasn't just pandemic response. It became permanent construction power. But if you think all this speed only helped China, just wait. Because next, they took their blueprint and started reshaping Africa. Morowi Dam, China's international power play, E. In the heart of Sudan stands the Meroe Dam, the largest hydropower project in Africa. But here's the real headline. It was built by China. With 10 massive turbines and over 1,500 kilometers of power lines, this isn't just electricity, it's influence. They used advanced rock-fill dam tech and remote control centers, bringing 21st century energy to a region long left behind. But don't mistake this for charity. This move gave China access, leverage, and control right in the center of Africa. So is this about helping or empire building? Next, we head underground to a tunnel they said was impossible. Human Tunnel, China's most difficult engineering feat. In Gansu province, a tunnel just 173 meters long took over six years to finish. Why? Because the ground was like quicksand, soft, unstable, and constantly shifting. Most nations would have given up, but China didn't. Engineers used vacuum dewatering, real-time stabilization sensors, and round-the-clock adjustments to fight nature itself. It became more than a tunnel. It became a test of will. Was this engineering brilliance or just obsession? Either way, the human tunnel proved one thing. China refuses to quit, no matter the cost. But to understand how all this started, we need to go back to the beginning. Three Gorges Dam, the original mega marvel. The Three Gorges Dam is still the largest hydroelectric station on Earth. With 32 turbines, a 700 square kilometer reservoir, and ship lifts taller than skyscrapers, it's a feat of raw power. It doesn't just make energy, it can redirect entire national grids. But this wasn't just engineering. It built a new ecosystem, displaced over a million people, and sparked global debate. Love it or hate it, the dam sent a clear message. China had arrived. But with all these mega projects rising fast, what does this really mean for the U.S. and the future of global power? The strategic infrastructure war has already begun. China isn't just building fast, it's building smart with long-term global goals in mind. The real shock? The U.S. isn't just behind on speed, it's losing the strategy game. 
These mega projects aren't just concrete and steel. They're chess pieces placed across the globe, each one shifting the balance of power. While America debates budgets, China is making moves. Every tunnel, dam, and rail line isn't just progress. It's influence, spreading quietly. And now the question isn't, how did they build it? It's what will the U.S. do next? Wake up or watch from the sidelines? These aren't just bridges and tunnels. They're the blueprints of tomorrow, etched in steel and concrete. Because in today's world, who builds fastest often rules longest. Want to see how these mega projects are quietly shifting global power? Subscribe for more deep dives into the world's boldest ideas. Which project impressed you most and what should America build next?